Judy Austin's fake pastor confessed in prison, breaking news, as this lover exposed her after this. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular channel. You know, it's no longer news that Judy Austin connived with one particular native doctor, which claimed to be a fake pastor. You know, to lie to me, uh, you are a for me, for, for you are to hate me, a duchy. Like I've said before, that this woman, this woman's desperation is out of this particular world. You know, when this entire incident started, I have been saying this incessantly a countless number of times that Judy Austin is so desperate that she can do anything in order to uh, make sure that she becomes or she takes over the position of her maid. Which I said this, and I've been saying it here at times with that number that this woman has no shame. She is so desperate, no matter whatever it will cost, she wants to bring that maid. Which she wants to take over her position. That is why she ran away from her husband's house. I told people that for this woman to run away from her husband's house to come and become a member of the Duchess means she is ready to do anything. She's ready, absolutely ready to do anything. What has she not done actually? What has she not done? Before she came, she first of all went and recruited her friend, Sarah Martins. It was this same Sarah Martins that introduced Judy Austin to this fake pastor. This native daughter that is actually claiming to be a pastor. It was Sarah Martins that took Judy Austin there. And that was when they started planning on how they would do whatever they did. Imagine you, Ledechi, had the, imagine what this lover just revealed recently. You, Ledechi, had the F-13 to come and attack his own wife because of what uh, this fake pastor said to him. Because of what this fake pastor said to him, I said it. That you, Ledechi, is in a very big trouble. And this is what we've been telling Peter Doche. We told the, uh, the man, being Peter Doche, that this strange woman that you are bringing into this family, a woman that everybody knows that she's diabolical and she's fetish, this is, is, is this uh, kind of woman you want to bring into your home? And Peter Doche, you know, before we know it, we didn't even know that Peter Doche has actually been influenced too. And at the end of the day, look at how the family has been now. The family is no longer united. The family is fighting each other. There are, there are a lot of spiritual battle that is ongoing, especially within the Edoche's family. And this is what Peter Edoche failed to understand. And this is what, how he failed to manage his family very well. Well, in my previous video, if you could remember, I, I, I told you guys that this particular fake pastor was arrested because the kind of prophecy she gave uh, was really, really not from this world. The kind of prophecy this uh, so-called fake pastor, who, who is a native daughter, gave, I must tell you, she needed to be arrested. You know, like I've said, Yuki Ledeche wanted to abandon Jude Austin after the death of Kambli Chuku. Jude Austin and this are cohort, this are matters, now went and, you know, I, I, like I've said before, that they are sit, they're always sitting on the front table to find how to manipulate Yuki Ledeche because they've locked up Yuki Ledeche inside a the container. They now cooked up this particular story and they were the ones that took Yuki Ledeche to this particular native daughter that is parading, parading himself as a pastor. This native doctor told you Ledeche all sorts of lies that made Ledeche wants to kill him and all that. And he was saying all sorts of lies that are not even true. You've stayed with me, Ledeche, for how many years? You've been eating this woman's food. Nothing. The woman has not done you anything. The woman doesn't even have the heart to do anything. The woman that told you that she doesn't, she cannot even hate you, despite everything that you are doing against her. And these people gave you a fake prophecy because they want you to totally hate me, Ledeche. They want you to. To, to 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 make that lady to go depressed and probably run away from the marriage marriage so that they can they can come and take over her position. I've said it here a less number of times that Yellow Dichi is not smart. Well, that is not the case. You know, after this uh, uh fake pastor gave this particular prophecy, he was uh, uh, arrested immediately. I must tell you for the fact because the prophecy is a very wrong prophecy that could, you know, bring down the name of somebody. Because there are a whole lot of gullible people out there that will believe in this nonsense prophecy. Without knowing that this is a trick that Judy Austin and her friend, Vince Sarah Martins, cooked up. Look at the set of people that are taking your literature to your pastor. You know, sometimes it is important for you to study the background of people that are actually prophesying to you. Look at Judy Austin and Sarah Martins who run away from their husband's house and are coming to start prophesying, if you imagine. So after this uh, fake pastor was arrested, you know, and put in prison. Now, the fake pastor started making a whole lot of a uh, confession because now she, the pastor has seen that this is no longer a, 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 a small case. The pastor has revealed how he has been the one sponsoring Jude Austin and Sarah Martin's Kiyamata. 
what they used to tie down your ledeche. And not just your ledeche. This pastor is revealing that these people equally use the same kayamata to tie down uh, Peter Duce. That is why Peter Duce is supporting this abomination and atrocity that Judy Austin and uh, your ledeche are committing. This is what this particular fake pastor is saying. You know, this particular fake pastor equally revealed that Judy Austin and this uh, so-called friend, Ben Salamatins, came together and met him in Imo State and, you know, uh, told him to lie and, prof uh, and give a fake prophecy to Yolo Deche so that Yolo Deche will, you know, uh, still stay with them. Just look at how this spirit these two people are. As I'm talking to you, this Salamatins that is uh, Judy Austin's so-called friend, you know, she ran away from her husband's house. She doesn't have any husband as I'm talking to you now. She doesn't have any single husband as I'm talking to you at this particular moment. She doesn't have any single husband. And this is what they did. This is what they did because their homes, because they wrecked their first marriages, they want to come and wreck somebody's marriage. So they went to this particular fake pastor and told the pastor to give Yolo a, a fake prophecy. After they saw that Yolo wanted to, you know, after they saw that Yolo wanted to, you know, dump Jude Austin and all that, they had to come up with this idea and cook up this idea. And unfortunately, you know, like I've said before, Yolo Deche is not really that smart the way we think. He's not really that intelligent the way we think. We overrated and we, I think we overrated Yolo Deche. This set, who, this set of women took you to a native doctor or in the name of a fake pastor and you went there and agreed to every prophecy that the woman, that the fake pastor gave to you and you now had the effrontery to come and dump it on your wife. You could imagine how, how senseless and how insensitive some people could be. Somebody that went to the university and that is learned is believing in such prophecies. And because of that, you don't even know that these women want to tie you down with all these kind of nonsense prophecies. But you know, the should be aware that every evil has an expiring date. Whether he is with his clear eyes or not, Judy Austin and her cohort should know that every evil under the surface of the earth has an expiring date. It's just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time. All these things that Judy Austin and Narco Horse have been doing will definitely expire. So we'll keep on praying for Medici because this is a very uh, a strong period for her. It's not easy. That woman has been fighting battles upon battles just because her husband couldn't control himself, because her husband couldn't you know, apply self-discipline or self-control. Look at the problems that he has brought upon the family. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comment and you can subscribe to my channel.